Good day, Laura J here, post coming home festival, doing some dishes as I settle into a changing, shifting space, as so many of us are. I say this because my cat this morning brought in a field mouse with a really long tail. And it was alive and I was able to let it go because he's been bringing me so many little friends from his hunting trips lately that I have started to carry a little <laughs> container, a little uh, plastic container next to the bed because he brings them to bed in order to play with and show his pride to mama in his eyes or his care keeper, companion, whatever a cat would see me to be, my cat specifically, the sea lion that is the wee lion I get to be the caretaker of, he brings me these treats. And this field mouse is different from any of the other mice that he's been bringing because this tail was long and the others have only ever been short. So it's the difference between a house mouse and a field mouse though even the mice that he's been bringing I think are actually a different version of outdoor mice. But my point is that the tail is really long. The tail that I tell is the figurehead telling the tail reflects the idea that is coined when I put my head on the tail. And that is what I call to be the deity. Now, I have a mix master behind me my dad bought because it could have caused drama had he not chose to sacrifice his own money in order to give me a gift that really touched my heart and I was grateful for. And I've been quiet because I haven't quite known how to speak of what's been going on and is active in my life given that it involves others who have not necessarily been so nice. Because they don't understand. The one who in the past would have been called a witch and outcast for not being able to play in the main play would mean that I'd be outcast from the cast of it. And it brings me to restate something that I think is really important culturally for us to really rally behind is the cult you are part of, culture, culturally, cult you rally with, idea, that witchcraft are you specialized in was what was asked of those men and women who didn't fit the cultural norms and then were shorn of their life because they wouldn't admit to a craft they weren't specialized in because they didn't know how to put it into words. And Ralph, who hosted or had the prop has the property with Julie that Coming Home Festival was hosted on, I was speaking with him at the end because I only sold two copies of my book because there were five different avenues that were possible for me to get to coming home and in the end it was community who actually bought me a ticket because I'm in this transitory space where I didn't have anything lined up after coming home and my free ticket was pulled because of circumstances out of necessity that I understood and yet what am I going to do and then vending as an option that didn't come to pass because there wasn't a reply. A workshop that when I met Courtney, who was the workshop coordinator, she said, oh my God, I emailed you to ask more information so that you could do the workshop. I just didn't fully understand because I have lacked clarity in being able to fully command the information that would get us into formation as I was putting together Leveling the Playing Field Ode to Laura Lees after fully committed to Sacred Sojourn of Now being the book that took four, five years for me 
to be rewrote before I could then pen it in a month. And then the year and a half rabbit chase following the intuitive drop that the Justinian deception was significant caught me up in a lot of tales that were really long indeed. Long in the tooth? <laughs> so, I say all of this because there were, I even had a potential free option when another Laura, go, who goes by Lola, couldn't end up coming to be an assistant to Anthony, who was the one who put my books on his blanket, selling his flutes and CDs, and then gave me the opportunity to have my book there even though I wasn't vending. And ironically, Ralph was the only one that felt called to actually give a donation for my books, which I put on the table because Anthony gave me the chance and I got a message from the one that invited me to go and made it so coming home festival has been on my radar since months back when it was put down that I would be the one to give a ride except for then <laughs> there were other circumstances that changed it and so my mind is blown wide open and so is my heart and I say it because Ralph asks me what I do with the energy frequency tuning that I do and at Soulshine Festival the last two years I was in the healing forest offering energetic tune-ups they said I could talk touch tap tone tarot What's your tea? Truth? That's what I resonate with and then figuring out where the one on the mat is at for me to then be able to move things. It's what I do and I don't have a modality for that. I just do it, which is what I said to Ralph. And then there was so much else that came into the frame as I realized that part of the challenge for those deemed witches was they didn't know what craft it was because I don't have a craft specifically. When asked, I just do what I do and haven't known how to put a price on it because of it too. And so when Anthony suggested by donation and another dear friend had done the same, Claudio Selvage, who is helping to create an empowered version of the tarot since the hierophant brings the phantom in with the hiero who was the tyrant. That makes me say, okay, even the major arcana characters of which there are 22 cards, which are the different character arcs that we go through in order to become aligned and whole and complete having been all of the characters in the major arcana. And all of this is to say, Claudio a while back said, just put your books by donation. And then Anthony suggested maybe the same. And so for the first time, I didn't even put down the suggested $25 donation that I had put on before, and I just left it. And between what Ralph gave me and for the book, plus CDs he got from Anthony, he then gave me $65 for the two books. And Ralph afterwards said, oh, well, actually, I gave him money for a CD too, and he passed that on to you. And it's just like my heart is so wide open. And this morning I started the day because Maximus woke me up with this field mouse by cleaning out a shelf that was behind the door in my room downstairs that I moved into in 2017 when I was so gutted, self-esteem being what was attacked when I moved into my grandparents' basement instead of having the book launch that didn't happen on my 30th birthday. So I say all of this is context within 10 minutes because just because it doesn't happen on our time doesn't mean it's not in divine time.